moderator for those of you that are Dumbos. Anyway, welcome to a very gleeful pantomime. Ooh. Firstly, I know what you're all thinking. The title of this pantomime is very similar to that American TV show. But I can guarantee you that this play is nothing like that TV show. I can guarantee you that this play is, has no similarities with Glee. Oh, I am Mrs. 
Chista. My name is Rochelle Mary. I'm a big fan of yours. I heard about the Spice Girls and I just want to say that if it was my decision, I would have chosen you over the Spice Girls. Probably my Spice Girls have better ring to it. It was a long time ago, but thank you, Rochelle. I'm tiny, in it. <laughs> Anything else you need to know, Tiny? Any accolades? Any singing experience? Blood. I have experience. Hold on a minute. I'm better than Michael Jackson. Hear my music. Come on, Joe. Hear my music.
such have a go. I'm Mrs. Eva Teacher. <laughs>
son refused to play because they were scared of dark. Come to Doc's house and expect to lose, yeah? Ah, and the Vinnie Jones the rugby world. Don't mess with me. What are you looking at? Come on then. Come on then. I'll fight you. Bring it. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at that? Doc, come on. We liked the flow of them. Let's revel in this victory. Rather than thinking about how many players you hospitalise. We're looking good for the league again, yeah? Just a couple more wins. Thanks to me, Pim. I just scored 85 points, Duck. How many did you score? You only scored so many because it only had 11 players on the pitch. Stevie Wonder could have scored out there. <laughs> I am the captain of this team, Duck. And you need to start showing me some respect. I'm sorry. What? You heard me, Duck. Show pretty boys some respect. I don't think so. Guys. Just what? Yeah, come on, let's go and celebrate. Celebration time! Come on! Oh! <laughs> my face! My face! My beautiful face! I can't believe she did this to me again! See, Pim? I rule by fear. You rule by what? Exactly! Class, integrity, skill! Shut up, pretty boy! From now on, I'm the captain around here! No! I have the armband, it was $4.99 at Sports Direct and it got reduced to $4.99. I know. It's red, it's my favourite colour. I have the armband, I am the captain of this team. Oh, why are you doing that? I have 32 in charm, I a six pack and a bunch of girls on my number. Yeah. Duh! <laughs> Back to the story! Sorry, yeah? I'm taking it down, Pim. That armband! That armband is mine! Mine! I thought we were friends, Doug. We've been BFFs since primary school. We were milk monitors together. <laughs> you thought wrong, Pim. We'll have a vote in the next training session for captaincy. I think we all know what the outcome will be. Why, though, Doug? Before the show, you shared your sandwich with me. You even gave me your last Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get off me, man. Just because it doesn't nothing sense to my brain, okay? Why? I don't understand your motivation. We went to go and watch Fast and Furious 8 together at the cinema yesterday. You said it was one of the best days of your life. We cried openly during that big car chase and everything. We hugged and everything. Get off me, yeah? Remember the boat in the next training session, okay? No matter what you lose Duh, I... Look, kids, face facts. We're over. Remember the boat. You bloody loser! Oh. Why is Duck being like this, guys? I love rugby and just want us to play as a team. Oh, what to do, guys? Should I fight for my captaincy? Or should I give up for the good of the team? <laughs>
Thank you. I needed that. I know you. You are... Michelle. I'm in your French class. Oh. Sorry. I didn't recognize you. Because I sit at the back with the rugby guys. Do you have an amazing voice? You should join a glee choir then. We are looking for a strong male vocalist. You would be perfect. Hmm. I don't think so, Michelle. Rugby players shouldn't be seen singing in public. I have an image to uphold. It's a shame. You're amazing. You are pretty amazing too. Anyways. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, we do have practice tomorrow, Mrs. Shoes Room at three. I, I hope to see you there then. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Chris. <laughs>
under control. I know of a very suitable replacement. Who? Me, obviously. <laughs> Cheers for 
soon after I burnt the glee cook down to the ground. I don't like fire! <laughs> Look, mate, 
his hamster Barry just died. Aww. His name was Boris! You guys don't even care about me! <laughs> right, back to the and why get the roots for a Where's your keys, up, user? The only loser around here is you, Duck. I mean, just look at you, and then just look at me. I'm looking at you and you're making my eyes bleed. Go back to freak town, drag. Just because I look baby in a dress doesn't make me different from you, you, or you. What are you pointing me for? Face it, drag. You're different. That's what makes you uncool. The audience don't even like you. Do you? Yes! Do you? Yes! I mean, what would they know? Just look at them. <laughs> they know enough to pay me to watch in a pantomime. They know enough to boo you. <laughs>
see what Mrs. Smelly Breath is wearing today. Ugh. Can we talk about it a little later? We have our first rehearsal tonight. Jill, you're a great teacher. Are you really going to put your reputation on line? Go, Miss Fix. There's potential there, pure unbridled potential. Just you wait and see. If you say so. <sighs>
the show. Not only am I fighting for me, but I'm fighting for the good name of the Gleeper. Sure, I've only been a member for, what, a couple of days? But it's still a good cause nonetheless. You're crazy, Pin! Duck will kill you! He bench presses 250 pounds. You know that's two of me. <laughs> I have something that doesn't have no Kirk. And what's that, Pin? Have you brought a baseball bat? No, I thought... My intelligence. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you're not that bright. Yeah, I is. <laughs> you told me yesterday that you thought Buckingham Palace was where the Pope lived. <laughs> That's an easy mistake. Oh, mate, you is dumb. <laughs> I really should get involved in this ridiculous pen. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay. So maybe I am no Einstein, but neither was he until he developed confidence. I've been watching loads of Rocky on DVD. I just have to keep telling myself, I am a wrecking machine! 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 You are, honey. Wrecking machine. Let's do this thing. Fool. Fool. The only one who's gonna have a fool around here is you. Oh, we'll see. Come on then. Yeah. Bring it on! Wait. <gasps> what for? <laughs> Where's the referee? <laughs> Where? Referee! It's a playground strap little no top boxing match. I am not fighting without a referee. What what do you need a referee for? Do we hospitalize in mere seconds? Look, no ref. No fair fight. Right. Sorry to stop the show for this, but does anyone out there have a referee's license to our license to discuss? <laughs> anyone? I know you're lying. Stop the right. Anyone? <laughs> I do. I do. Get up on it then! Give a hand applause. <laughs> That's convenient. May I please see your license? <laughs> Look at everyone. <laughs> Referee license for unlicensed school playground scraps. How specialised. It took years of training. I'm here to see the show with my family. Kurt's my leg. Hi, sweetie. Hi, auntie. Right, can we fight now? First, the rules. Rules? It's a wind-up. Do you want to fight or not? Sorry, girl. Rule number one. No touching of the hair or face. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Rule number two, no eating during the fight. Why would I eat during a fight? Listen to the rules or you can go on the naughty step. <laughs> Rule number three, no slow motion fighting. Oh, come on! Not so 
far, Sunny Jim. Rule number four. I can change the rules whenever I like. And I'll allow Paul Pin to transfer a substitute. <laughs> Sorry, Penny. Don't, don't kill me. Yeah, I'm not going to Sorry, Penny. My face is so too big. Let's get crushed. Gosh, won't anyone help me? I said, won't anyone help me?
drag. So, looks like all is well. Well, with the kids. Little did they know Mrs. Shoestar was on the verge of leaving. She just couldn't face life at school anymore. Mrs. Evil headmistress as the new head teacher. She began to pack her things. Sad, dejected. But then. Shield, what are you doing? I'm leaving, Mr. Pillsbury. With Mrs. Evil teacher head and mistress, I can no longer do my job at Fairytale High. But, but the kids need you, Jill. Weren't you the one who told me not to be too aspirational? I can start at a new school. A school which appreciates me. I was wrong. You are an inspiration to those children. You, you, you challenge them. We've got no chance of winning the competition anyway. Jillian Schuster, you are a superstar. And I will not have you walk out on those children. I will not. Mr. Pillsbury, you're usually so quiet and reserved. I, I have been trying to tell you something for years, Jill. <laughs> But now, it just seems like the right moment. What is it, Mr. Pillsbury? Uh, I love you, Julian Schuster! <laughs> what? Uh, I know, I am shocked too. undoubtedly ask for the money back, as they only look for some <laughs> So, if you're not doing it for me, at least, at least, think of, what's her name? Think of Jackie, I'm saying, you want Jackie to be, if you leave the, the, the children alone without having a chance of winning.
going to bring this thing! Yeah, we are! I actually want to be here now. I've been practicing in my sleep. I've just been sleeping. Shut up, my kid! Come on, Mr. Chu. Let's go and practice. Yeah, you know what? Let's go and win this thing! Yeah! <laughs>
Come on. This is a pantomime, Scary. Hey, I'm scared by what I say goes. Shut up, Scary. They're amazing. Where are the audience? Yes! yes. You know what, Louis? Shall we let the audience decide the winners? Many records! Many records! I think that's yes. But, of course, we need this evil head mistress's permission. My permission. Yes, Miss Evil Head Mister. Will you give it? My permission. You can have it! Yeah. 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 Okay, so, should no direction be the winners of this year's singing competition? Yeah. Yeah.
complete character transplant. The Radical <laughs> Theatre, I love it. I am now to be known as Mrs. Not So Evil Teacher. And as someone not so evil, my first act is to step down as headmistress so headmaster can have his own job back. Oh. Oh. Didn't you hear this? He's had enough of teaching. He's gone to live in Iceland. Iceland? That's a bit of a joke, isn't it? Iceland? No. He lives in Iceland supermarket just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Right. You know, you are such a slave driver. 
Right. Off down there in a free swim and look happy. Do it now. Right, I can see you moving and you and you and you. We're not moving. God, you're worse than that. Oh, I'm very cheap. <laughs> right. So to conclude, stand down. Don't stop believing! Don't 